Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the user profile service failed, the logon error um, when you're trying to log into your Windows device. So this will typically occur if you deleted a user profile from your computer and in the event of this happening you might be receiving an error when you're trying to access the user profile. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial today and we're going to start by right clicking on the start button and then we're going to select run from this menu. It should be the third option up. Now in the run dialog window you want to type in regedit and then either you can hit OK with your mouse or hit enter on your keyboard, it doesn't really matter. You receive a user account control window, select yes. So let me back out of here. This is from a previous tutorial. So we're going to start by going over to each key local machine and clicking the little arrow next to that. And then we're going to left click on the little drop down arrow next to software. Then the one next to Microsoft. And then scroll down until you get to Windows NT. So should be right here. Click on the little arrow next to that. And then left click on the current version and the little arrow next to that. And then you want to go down until you get to profile list. Right here. And now you want to left click on the little arrow next to profile list. And now you want to select the folder starting with S slash one slash five, followed by a very long number within the navigation panel. So I would say that it should be the first one right here. So see as it's 18, 19, 20, you want to select the first 21 here. And now on the right side of this window, I'm going to actually drag over the top tab so I can see a little bit better. We are going to double click on the profile image path right here. So you want to double click on that. And you can see which profile is having the error right here. So we can close out of here. And if you notice, you have two different folders starting with this S slash 1 slash 5, followed by a long number. This is an indication that we have an issue here. If you have two folders here and one of them ends with a dot BAK at the end, which it appears if we scroll over, we can see the second one actually says dot BAK, then this is an issue we have to address. So in order to resolve this, we want to right click on the folder without the dot BAK in this case it happens to be my first folder here and we want to right click on it click on rename and you want to add a dot BA and then you hit enter so now on the one with dot BAK on the end which happens to be the second one in my case we want to right click on it left click on rename I'm going to delete the dot BAK from the end here so just delete the whole thing so it should not say .bak or .ba or anything. Whichever folder originally had the .bak at the end, just get rid of that part of it. And then you can hit enter to save your changes. Now you want to right click on the folder that you renamed .ba. Right click on it. Left click on rename. Now you want to add a k on the end of that folder. So it should say .bak. Then hit enter again. Now you want to select the folder without .bak at the end. So select that. On the right side, double click where it says state. It should be near the bottom. Make sure the value data is set to zero here. Then hit OK. And then at this point you can close out of the registry editor. Restart your computer and you should be good. Please keep in mind follow the directions as closely as possible. I would highly recommend if you're not familiar with modifying the registry, consider consulting somebody before you proceed with it. At least make a backup and a system restore of your computer and any registry changes you might be making before you proceed with this tutorial because it definitely is a little bit more high risk, especially if you messed it up. So just please keep that in mind. I'd recommend you make a backup of your computer beforehand. So at this point, like I said, restart your computer and hopefully you should be good. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.